into a European manor that has everything you could want. We'll take you on a tour of this masterpiece, a home that brings together the best of European design. From the French living room to the British library, this home has it all. Get the look of a granite slab without all the headaches. We'll show you a product that's easily installed. It's also easy to clean and requires no maintenance. You have to see it to believe it. And meet a woman who feels more confident than ever after getting rhinoplasty. You'll meet the plastic surgeon who gave her the nose of her dreams and find out all the latest improvements in rhinoplasty. Plus, visit Branson, Missouri, where you'll meet one of the country's biggest stars, Mo Bandy. He's one of the acts drawing big crowds every day. All that is coming up here on Home and Style. Thanks for joining us. I'm Donna Davis. If you love the style and design of Europe, then you'll love seeing this next feature. We recently toured a European manor that combines the best of France, Italy, and England all in one amazing house. Welcome to a little bit of Europe in the state of Georgia. This masterpiece mansion is the creation of builder Sean Shakib of European Manor Design. And I've traveled in many different uh, European countries and I've always looked to see what is the best of each. And I wanted to have a house that I can combine stone and brick and different natural materials. Sean loves the French look of a castle with stone and wood. Everywhere you look, from the antique brick wall on the terrace level to the ornate living room, you see old world design and beauty. The Italian cedar shingles for the roof, the beauty of British style in the library, and the Moroccan themed home theater. From the minute you open the door, you're transformed to a time and place where real, authentic, natural materials were used. I use travertine because that's the most natural stone you can find and is the most durable. High ceilings, I use 12 foot ceilings or better. I like to use different kind of designs on the ceilings. Sean also likes a lot of natural light and a grand entryway. When you open the door and enter the foyer, you have that openness. You can see all the way to the backyard. Once inside, you're greeted by a library with warm wood and unique flooring. I used a lot of uh, cherry wood. The fireplace, we used limestone. The, my favorite animal is lion, so I used the lion's head that I put in, you know, in that uh, fireplace. The dining room features a unique ceiling. I just like the ceiling in the dining room. The size of dining room is large enough. The flooring is a combination of granite and wood. The formal living room is grand and ultra feminine with a stunning ceiling and chandelier. It's actually a 25 foot high ceiling with a huge dome on top. It has a two story high uh, fireplace. It has bay windows that opens to the backyard and brings a lot of light. We use the wood paneling on the entire uh, bay window side. When you walk in the kitchen and keeping room, you get the feeling of warmth and coziness from the old wood and grand fireplace. I went a little bit overboard. I want it to be something that is totally unique. That look of a masterpiece certainly shows in the master bedroom and bath. It looks like Carnegie Hall if you go inside. It has three different levels and I put uh, rope lighting so it's very romantic at night. And it has a fireplace with a fireplace going and the rope light so it puts you in a nice mood. It also has a bay window that it opens to the waterfalls and the view of the lake. The master bath is captivating with its elegant flooring and tiles. I use a special tiles that you know comes from one mine in Italy and it's very nice earth look. You cannot find two tiles that look the same. The bath and shower have all the latest innovations, yet the appearance remains old world and solid. It uh, has a steam bath, um, again heated floors everywhere, the raindrop shower, so it's just like everything that anybody would want to enjoy. The laundry room as well as his and her closets complete the master suite. When you walk down to the terrace level, you feel you stepped into another world. I wanted it to look like an old dungeon in a way, but not scary and not too dark. He used a mix of materials for the floors, walls, and ceilings to give you the feeling of separate rooms, yet keeping the entire space open for entertaining everything kind of coordinates very nicely together. Uh, that's one of my expertise, trying to coordinate and put the colors together 
with the combination of, you know, uh, different stones. Sean selected this lot for his masterpiece because of the view of the lake, the curb appeal, and the serene surroundings. Then he created a beautiful outdoor living space for entertaining. You already have your pool, you have your waterfalls, all stone. You have the outside kitchen, create some um, uh, one area with uh, this old wood uh, with arbors and you have the uh, barbecue, you got the whole kitchen area. Building homes is a passion for Sean. Every look, every space, and every material is carefully planned. He says for him, each home is like having a child. Care and consideration is taken all along the way. When I build a house, this is how I treat it. I don't build homes in two, three months. It takes a while to build them, and I like the perfection. So my homes, I try to use that concept and to you know try to create a perfect child this is the way I look at it get the beauty of granite without the maintenance a new product makes it quick and easy to enjoy the look of granite anywhere in your home we visit the home of a woman who loves granite transformation so much she's had the stone product installed all over her home are you tired of your outdated kitchen or does your entire home need renovating? Then you'll love an event on October 1st and 2nd. The Atlanta chapter of the National Association of the Remodeling Industry presents the 2011 Tour of Remodeled Homes showcasing the craftsmanship. You'll get design ideas, see the latest styles, and meet Atlanta's top remodelers. Fox 5's Stacey Elgin is the honorary chair. Ticket sales benefit the ALS division of the MDA. Go to AtlantaRemodelingTour.com. Sunlight is fading And the cold rain sets in When I wake up in the morning It starts all over again Looking for some shelter Don't want to be in the way Hoping that we might meet one fine day if you let me come home, let me come home, I'll be your best friend. There we will meet me wherever you go. If you let me come home, let me come home, I'll be your best friend. The medical and dental services we take for granted in the United States are treasured in places like Kenya. That's why the villagers depend on Kenya Medical Outreach, a mission of hope and healing. Kenya Medical Outreach, led by Atlanta dentist Dr. Bill Williams, offers much needed medical and dental services while spreading Christianity. Dr. Williams received the coveted 2007 Ron Lamb Award for creating the outreach. To support this meaningful mission, which has helped thousands of people, visit KenyaMO.com and find out more. Many of us love granite countertops, but getting them installed can be an ordeal, and granite has to be sealed and maintained. Now a new product for your home gives you the look of a granite slab, but it's quick and easy to install and there's no maintenance. Granite Transformations makes a granite overlay that simply covers your countertop so there's no messy tear out. And as you'll see, there's no maintenance at all. Yolanda McGee now loves the look of her kitchen. It reflects her style, her colors, and her design ideas. Initially, I had white tile counters, and they were just hideous to keep clean all the time, and I'm a neat freak. I don't like stains, and that was the reason it was time for the counters to go. Yolanda wasn't sure about a replacement. She talked with friends and visited one of them who was getting granite installed. The whole house was just covered with dust. With that experience in mind, she wanted something different. I started doing some research on the internet 
and I came across Granite Transformations. Granite Transformations uses an overlay to cover countertops, so there's no tear out and no heavy slabs. It's a product that offers an array of choices. Um, we have two main product lines. We have a, a granite based and also a glass based. Carl Griffin Krantz works for Granite Transformations. He says the process is the key. Take the granite and it's, uh, it is ground down. We have a plant in Sebring, Florida that does worldwide production for us. It's mixed in with, with the polyester resin, which we call Forever Seal. The more Yolanda learned about the product, the more she realized it was perfect for her needs. And I did not realize that they had so many different colors to choose from. And I liked the fact that they had the glass tile and the glass countertops. It was just different. Probably over 300 mosaic glass tiles. So. If there's a color you want or choose an accent, we can accommodate your needs. The granite or glass is a quarter of an inch overlay, so it's really versatile. Well, to cover besides countertops, backsplash, bathroom walls, fireplaces, flooring. Yolanda opted for both the granite and glass countertops. In her kitchen, she used a cream-colored granite that really catches the light. It's called Grigio Winter Mute. And within the granite, we've actually put some mother of pearl shell in there. Another thing customers love is the installation. I could go on with whatever I was doing in the house while they were doing what they were doing. It didn't stop me from living. The average kitchen is installed in a day. If it's a really large installation, it might take two days. Another advantage which draws consumers to the product is the ease of it. The granite and glass overlays are mixed with a sealing material, so there's no maintenance and cleanup is easy. They never want to have to worry about sealing it. They don't have to worry if you know they spill a little bit of oil or some red wine or a glass of milk that it's going to seep into the stone and stain it or cause odors somewhere down the line. It's very easy to clean. I don't, I mean, when I had the tile counters, I used a lot of bleach. I don't need to do that anymore. Just soap and water, wipe and go. Yolanda says during her initial consultation, she was so impressed by the products and the choices that she decided to have her fireplace done as well. Her fireplace, they did a, a black a Nero Galaxy on the floor part. They were able to do the mosaic around the fireplace area and then carry the same black to the two sides of her piece and then finish the top off with the Grigio Wintermute, which she has here in her kitchen. So she has a nice balance through the home. Carl believes in the product so much that he has the glass countertops. And of course, they're made from recycled materials. So our countertop comes in, it's, it's, uh, it's brown. So we got the brown uh, beer bottles in there and everyone comes in and says, wow, that's the most interesting piece of granite I've ever seen. I've never seen anything like it. And I go, well, it's not granite, it's, it's glass. Oh, it, and they get nervous. They don't know if they can touch it. I'm like, no, it's, it's beer bottles. It's so you keep drinking Budweiser and I'll be able to make another countertop. Yolanda likes the fact that the granite product is manufactured in the United States and that the glass is made from recycled materials. But most of all, she loves the customization. The beauty about granite transformation they can create something unique and different that no one else will have because you can customize your order as opposed to it just being a slab and that's it. After completing her kitchen with countertops, a granite sink, and a new backsplash from Granite Transformations, Yolanda decided to splurge on other areas as well. I decided, well, might as well go for broke and do some more work and I did two bathrooms and I did the desk downstairs. One of her favorite products is the granite sink. And then I um, put in a granite sink as opposed to stainless steel, because stainless steel can scratch after a while. And the granite is perfect. It's a product that may be right for you if you like no maintenance, easy cleaning, a quick, easy installation process, and lots of choices. For Yolanda, it's a perfect fit. She loves the ease of installation, the lack of maintenance, and the easy cleaning. Uh, the overall process, I would give it on a scale of one to 10, 100, without a doubt. Having plastic surgery is always a big decision, and that's especially true of rhinoplasty. It's one of the most difficult surgeries. Up next, meet a young woman who wanted to have her nose changed and says she went about it exactly the right way. She wanted to share her experience with others. Are you tired of your outdated kitchen or does your entire home need renovating? Then you'll love an event on October 1st and 2nd. The Atlanta chapter of the National Association of the Remodeling Industry presents the 2011 Tour of Remodeled Homes showcasing the craftsmanship. You'll get design ideas, see the latest styles, and meet Atlanta's top remodelers. 
Fox 5's Stacey Elgin is the honorary chair. Ticket sales benefit the ALS division of the MDA. Go to AtlantaRemodelingTour.com. Sunlight is fading And the cold rain sets in When I wake up in the morning It starts all over again Looking for some shelter Don't want to be in the way Hoping that we might meet one fine day If you let me come home Let me come home I'll be your best friend There we meet me wherever you go If you let me come home best friend. The medical and dental services we take for granted in the United States are treasured in places like Kenya. That's why the villagers depend on Kenya Medical Outreach, a mission of hope and healing. Kenya Medical Outreach, led by Atlanta dentist Dr. Bill Williams, offers much needed medical and dental services while spreading Christianity. Dr. Williams received the coveted 2007 Ron Lamb Award for creating the outreach. To support this meaningful mission, which has helped thousands of people, visit KenyaMO.com and find out more. Welcome back to our beauty segment. Today you'll meet a young woman who really has it all. But growing up, she was self-conscious about her profile. She wanted to have her nose fixed. But Brandy Bruneau didn't rush the decision. She was methodical and meticulous, knowing she would only entrust her face to an expert. Brandy Bruno has it all. She's tall, poised, and beautiful. But Brandy hasn't always felt this confident about her looks. Growing up, I always, I knew I didn't like my original nose because I would notice in pictures and stuff, I would always take pictures straight on. I would hate to get pictures taken from the side. Her profile just wasn't what she wanted because of her nose. And I just decided that once I was able, that I would, you know, I would do something to fix it. On this day, Brandy is at the offices of Atlanta Plastic Surgery seeing Dr. Fernando Burstein, the plastic surgeon who gave her the nose she always wanted. Well, Brandy was, you know, obviously a very beautiful uh, woman, so when you first look at her, you say, you know, what could she possibly uh, want to improve? But she had some very valid concerns. Now when I look in the mirror, I'm much more confident and I just feel happier with the you know, with the way I look. I feel this is the nose I was born to have. Going from this to this was actually much easier than Brandy expected. I did a lot of research for a couple months, um, just researching the different surgeons around the Atlanta area. And I came across um, the Atlanta Plastic Surgeons um, practice and I saw Dr. Burstein that this was his specialty. In fact, Dr. Burstein has been doing rhinoplasty for decades and he's double board certified in head and neck surgery as well as plastic surgery. His practice focuses solely on the face and neck. Rhinoplasty just statistically is one of the most difficult uh, procedures done in plastic and reconstructive surgery. You have to, to spend a lot of time studying you have to know the anatomy. If you do uh, rhinoplasties, and you do a lot of rhinoplasties, uh, then it becomes sort of second nature. Brandy was impressed with Dr. Burstein's experience and qualifications, and after meeting him, she felt even more comfortable because of his approach. You can really tell that it's a passion of his, and he really cared about um, what I was looking for and listened to you know, what bothered me about my, my real nose and, and how I could improve it. The next step was to translate the conversation to the computer. We actually imaged her own face and her own nose. It was really neat. I've never seen anything like it. He would take pictures and then he could actually use his pen on the computer to monitor and edit it to show me what it could look like. And then we can manipulate the nasal uh, pyramid uh, to see if we can't get a look uh, that's close to what she is looking for. And we would just tweak it back and forth. If I told him I wanted a little bit more of a little tip on the top and he was able to draw that in. And that's the best way to communicate both verbally uh, and visually. No, it came out exactly the way he drew it. 
I think it looks identical. Better. Once the drawing is exactly what Dr. Burstein and his patient design, he uses the image during surgery. I actually take the photograph that they generate from their computer imaging and I put it right next to their face during surgery. And he really works with you, you know, to create, you know, a nose of your dreams. When you come in and you meet him and you talk to him, he's a doctor that really listens to what you're looking for. You can tell you're just not another patient, you're not another number. He really cares about, you know, what you're looking for. Dr. Burstein not only strives for perfection as he shapes the nose, he has also perfected a technique that helps his patients recover faster and easier than traditional rhinoplasties, which require gauze to pack the nose after surgery. And rather than use packing, I just use a very, very small little tiny chisel to move the nasal bone instead of a big one so you have less bleeding, less bruising, and more stability. And instead of using the packing to uh, stop the bleeding, I actually use sutures. Uh, it, that are dissolvable. Brandy says her recovery was amazingly easy. But surprisingly, the next day after the surgery, I was ready to get up and go. I, I was supposed to stay in the house for a week and just rest, and they tell you don't exercise and just take it easy. But I felt no pain. I barely had any bruising. You could barely see it. And um, I went out of the house the next day and just started going out and visiting friends and things because it, there was no pain. I never took pain medicine or anything. It's not your mother's rhinoplasty. Uh, now the procedure is done under a general anesthetic. Uh, it's relatively painless. The recovery is fairly quick and the results are fairly predictable. Brandy is thrilled with her results and hopes others who have been afraid of the recovery will learn from her experience. I'm ecstatic about my decision. I don't think, you know, I would never go back. I, I love my new nose. I think it was the perfect decision. Um, I went about it the right way. I did a lot of research. I made sure that I chose the doctor that was right for me and that understood what I was looking for, um, and I got the results that I wanted. You just hold your head a little bit higher, you know, even though other people have no idea what you've been through and the little change that I made to my nose, it just makes me feel more confident about myself. It's a lot of fun when they come in and, you know, the outlook is better, they're smiling, uh, they're really happy, they're dating, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, it can be life-changing, you know, for an hour and a half of surgery. Uh, it's amazing that it can't have that kind of an impact. Mo Bandy has been wowing crowds in Branson, Missouri for decades. Up next, we get a chance to sit down with him and talk about his life and his music. Are you tired of your outdated kitchen or does your entire home need renovating? Then you'll love an event on October 1st and 2nd. The Atlanta chapter of the National Association of the Remodeling Industry presents the 2011 Tour of Remodeled Homes showcasing the craftsmanship. You'll get design ideas, see the latest styles, and meet Atlanta's top remodelers. Fox 5's Stacey Elgin is the honorary chair. Ticket sales benefit the ALS division of the MDA. Go to AtlantaRemodelingTour.com. Sunlight is fading And the cold rain sets in When I wake up in the morning It starts all over again Looking for some shelter Don't want to be in the way Hoping that we might need one fine day if you let me come home let me come home i'll be your best friend there we need me wherever you go if you let me come home let me come home i'll be your best friend the medical and dental services we take for granted in the United States are treasured in places like Kenya. That's why the villagers depend on Kenya Medical Outreach, a mission of hope and healing. Kenya Medical Outreach, led by Atlanta dentist Dr. Bill Williams, offers much needed medical and dental services while spreading Christianity. Dr. Williams received the coveted 2007 Ron Lamb Award for creating the outreach. To support this meaningful mission, which has helped thousands of people, visit KenyaMO.com and find out more.
Branson, Missouri is an entertainment mecca, so it draws performers from all over the country. One of the most well-known singers in Branson is Mo Bandy. He's been entertaining audiences for decades. Comes from down in Southern Colorado. I had the chance to meet Mo Bandy and ask him about his latest music. I'm here with one of the hottest acts in Branson, Mo Bandy. Thanks for joining me today. My pleasure. My pleasure. Let's talk about your show and just tell me what people can expect when they come to Branson and see one of your shows. We do a variety show. We have a comedian that does comedy. I have a lovely lady uh, named Carrie Garrison who sings. And uh, we work this show around my, my records and my, my songs. And tell me and about some of those, some of your favorite ones and what mm -hmm. people can expect. Well, I, I have a song called Till I'm Too Old to Die Young, which people really uh, can relate to. Uh, Bandy the Rodeo Clown is uh, about a rodeo clown and, and it uh, talks a little bit about my my rodeo career. I wasn't a clown but it talks about the career. And uh, Cheating Situation was Song of the Year in 1979. And we just have a good time. We just have fun. Bandy's music had a different feel when he first started his career. I had a hit with a song called I Just Started Hating Cheating Songs Today. The title ran off the record. And uh, then we, we, it was a hit record, so we followed it up with some other cheating songs. But later on in my career, uh, when we finally cheated out, I guess, <laughs> record-wise, we started recording more, uh, more positive. Like um, I have a song called Americana that uh, has been a big record for me. And uh, Till I'm Too Old to Die Young talks about let me watch my children grow to see what they become. And it uh, talks about uh, life and uh, and so it's, uh, it, it's the, the songs have changed quite a bit there. I could promise you the world Would it change the way you Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next time. And be sure to check out our website at homeinstyletv.com and enter to win our travel giveaway.